Aloha, everybody. Welcome to part three of Bully. Now we're doing the setup. You seem to be making yourself quite comfortable here, my boy. I'm just trying to fit in. By fighting? By making a nuisance of yourself? That is not the Bullworth way, boy. Yeah, you could have fooled me. What? I said you could have fooled me. This place is full of bullies and maniacs. Nonsense. That's just school spirit. Hijinks. Why, in my day, we felt nothing of castrating the new boys. I want you to stop this nonsense, Hopkins. I want you to behave yourself. You might learn something. Fine. Can I go now, sir? On your way. Hey, I saw you sucking up to Crabble Snitch. What? Shut up. Screw you, new kid. This is what we do to teachers pets around here. You better not Ow! <laughs> Come here, you little Yeah, come and get me. Son of a bitch. <laughs> You're a whip, new kid. All right, this guy hit us with a slingshot, so now we gotta track him down and beat the crap out of him. Yeah, for justice. <laughs> so Gary covered the clicks in the last part. He covered like the nerds, the greasers, the preppies, and the jocks. The one thing he didn't cover was the bully group. Uh, and everyone you see wearing the white like polo shirts, those are all the bullies. And right now we have beef with the bullies because they picked a fight with us on our first day. And now they're picking a fight with us even still, and uh, we're going to be dealing with them for a little bit while this game begins. This is quite an eventful first day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is still my first day. I haven't taken a nap yet at the dorm yet. <laughs> I already fought Donkey Kong. <laughs> I made out with Eunice. And now some kid with a slingshot hit me, and I'm chasing after him and going into this auto shop to beat the crap out of a whole bunch of bullies. Like, good lord. <laughs> this is the initiation for new Bullhard students. <laughs> it's only 4 p.m. It's only 4 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can open shutters. You can... I can't really do much of anything right now because I don't have a lot of tools at my disposal. As the game goes on, I'll be getting a whole bunch of items. In fact, I'm going to be getting the slingshot that this guy attacked me with at the very end of this mission. And then I'll be able to use it whenever I want. And it's a really useful weapon. Oh yeah. For now though, all I got is my good old fists o' mine. <laughs> Beat them up. <laughs> Humiliate them. I guess he didn't. <laughs> Make all the kids bleed. <laughs> Again, I always love, like, dragging them to the wall so I can, like, knee them in the dick. I love repeatedly <laughs> kneeing them in the dick. It feels so cathartic. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be done. Mm -hmm. How else are they going to learn? <laughs> so Davis is on top of the shed. I can't reach him, so we have to pick up a whole bunch of items surrounding the area in order to throw these items at him. So yeah, you see a brick, you can pick it up and throw bricks at people. <laughs> <laughs> you can destroy a trash can and then the lid will pop off and then you can use that lid to throw it and knock them right on their ass. Booyah. I love that jingle. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I love that jingle to death, it's so good. But uh, now, folks, we got ourselves a slingshot. We got ourselves a permanent item that we will never lose. Uh, unless there's like a specific mission where they unarm us or something. Which aren't many in this game. No. No. Like I said, this game is Baby's Grand Theft Auto, but like, the slingshot will always be on your person, and you have infinite ammo. Yeah, you don't need to go around the world and collect stuff. You just always have the ammo on hand to slingshot people. Yeah. So, like, you can always have rocks or paper or whatever Whatever he's flinging at people with this. I always just assumed it was rocks. Sure. They just pick up on the ground. Of course. And uh, free ammo. You never run out. And uh, you can actually charge it up. Oh, here I am using the stink bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I love when you throw the stink bomb at people and there's this big glass breaking sound effect <laughs> like just once i want to hear like oh i got glass in my eye oh god oh my god missed opportunity there <laughs> <laughs> the stink bomb basically inca incapacitates them for a little bit so you can get like a free shot but uh i personally don't use the stink bombs much if i'm going to hit people i usually use either the slingshot or um firecrackers 
Yeah, the firecrackers are kind of like a grenade, I guess. But the thing is, like, if you throw the firecrackers too close at a person, like, you can't hit, get damage. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. But, like, it's so strong. Like, yeah. Nice. Like, you have to kind of charge up your slingshot attacks. Like, you can hold the R1 button in order to build up pressure, and then it will do a lot more damage. But, um, the firecracker is, like, instantaneously gonna deliver, like, a lot of damage whenever you throw it. So it's like, if you want to hit hard real quick without charging things up, it might be a good idea to use the firecracker, but at the same time, there's contact damage if you're way too close to it, so... So just use it very carefully. Yeah. Also, I'm sorry, I just had to keep beating up these bullies. They kept getting in my way. They deserve it! <laughs> they were mean to you! Yeah. <laughs> They keep giving me shit all day. <laughs> Did you, like, knock down the prefect, like, as you were pushing down the other bully? <laughs> because I hit the prefect, my notoriety went all the way to the top. And there's something about the dorm that's awesome. Your notoriety doesn't mean dick all when you're in the dorm. Like, I looked at the entrance to see if the prefect would follow me in here. He does not. When you get to the dorm, you are absolutely safe from anything. You can just chill and relax, and you don't have to worry about getting busted by the prefects. So that means I can watch TV, and there's nothing on, so you know what? Fuck TV! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I just destroyed an expensive TV, and my notoriety- You're letting out your aggression after a long day. Yeah, and my notoriety went down, like, almost immediately. <laughs> Break that poker table. I forgot you could break the poker table. <laughs> oh my god. I just destroyed all these chairs. I destroyed the TV. That poor nerd on the couch can't watch anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm a bit of a menace. But luckily, the prefects don't care and all those items will respawn whenever I come back to the dorm. So whatever. I believe you can also use the chemistry stat once a day, I think. Yeah. Or is it unlimited? It's unlimited later when I start doing good at chemistry. Right, right, okay. Like, I, when I get to, like, my fifth class of chemistry and I ace that, then I'll have unlimited uses of the chemistry set. But until then, it's once a day, and that's how you can get some firecrackers. And, uh, yeah, it's very useful. It's nice to have some replenishing supply. I, get the hell out of my way! <laughs> <laughs> You should have hunched him before you went on the mission. <laughs> so that's a good idea, right? Yeah, okay, all right, sure, I'll do it. <sighs> hey man, what's going on? Not much. I was just telling Petey here about my idea to take over the school. I mean, my plan for us to take over the school. What plan? Don't worry, Jimmy. It's just a little something I came up with. It's sink or swim, my friend. And if you're good at swimming, you gotta let the losers drown. Why don't you guys leave the thinking up to me? What? 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 What the? <laughs> Can't you say anything else? <laughs> you know what, Petey? You were right. Jimmy is pretty dumb. What'd you say about me? Oh, nothing. No, no, no. All I said was that you had to be pretty dumb to get expelled from so many schools. That's all. <laughs> Relax, James. All he said was that you must be dumb. Or... Maybe you're all messed up because you came from a broken home. What'd you say about me, dwarf? Come on, dude. Chill. No, 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 no. Gary's taking everything out of context, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't lie, Petey. Don't you lie. Because you know what happens to liars? No, no, I'm not lying. We kick them in the balls! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. Let's go see how good you are with this new <laughs> slingshot I heard you had. Don't worry, friend. Nothing escapes my notice. I hear everything. You and me, we can do things. Poor Pete. That's just Poor Petey. Mm -mm. <laughs> and if you all don't like Gary, don't worry. Gary is not going to be our long-term friend. He is an asshole after no, all. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, what made you think that? Gary's not going to be our best friend throughout this adventure. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this mission is basically a tutorial to introduce you to how the slingshot works. Uh, you can use it to lock onto enemies and just like hit them from a distance and circle around them and stuff. 
Uh, you can go into first person view, or rather third person view, but you can manually aim, is what I mean, by like pushing up on the control pad, and then you can aim wherever you want, so that's always useful. Yeah. Like I said, uh, infinite ammo, if you hold the button down, it builds up, it builds it up, and then you'll do more damage, and that's a great way to take out people, because you'll just like build it up all the way to the max, and a maxed out slingshot could just pull! Knock someone out on their ass. It can do some good damage. Oh, yeah. The slingshot will still be useful by the end of the game, for sure. There's the mascot of Bullworth. <laughs> <laughs> of course it's a bull. What else would it be? We're running by the gym and the swimming pool, and now we're at the football field where all the jocks hang out. Go hide in that tree so you can mess with them. I'm gonna take a seat on the bleachers to watch the fun. So yeah, let's go have some target practice, eh? All right. Let out that aggression. <laughs> you know, in high school, when like those jocks picked on you because you were like a nerd, play video games and stuff, take them out. You know what's weird? In high school, I wasn't actually picked on by the jocks. It was I thought the jocks were actually pretty cool in my high school. I don't know. Oh, neither was I. Like, I'm just <laughs> saying in general. <laughs> I was kind of there in high school. Just got, like, whatever. Yeah. It's weird. It's, it's almost like the complete opposite of what you would think from, like, a TV show or something mm -hmm. where, like... Usually in TV shows, it's like the burnout stoners who are like the chill, cool guys who just want to be your friend. Yeah. But like, I swear, in high school, it was always the burnout stoners who were like the meanest motherfuckers. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> That's just my experience, but... I can't believe I had like a few jock friends in high school. <laughs> like... <laughs> So yeah, that's about it. We only uh, got some notoriety for that mission. We didn't get paid. Uh, we will be getting paid for a lot of missions as the game goes on. And what do we use money for? Uh, to buy a whole bunch of eggs and <laughs> chocolates and clothing options and all kinds of stuff. That More chocolates later. for Eunice. More chocolates for Eunice. <laughs> I, I purposefully hit the prefect. <laughs> I purposefully hit the prefect because if you hit a prefect when class is going on, they will immediately warp you to class, saving you a lot of time and effort walking over to class. So, uh, that's a good tip for bully players. If you want to get to class immediately, eh, just punch out a teacher. Throw a firecracker <laughs> at a kid. Yeah. <laughs> just make sure that the prefect tackles your ass and drags you to, sc to school, you know. Oh, I love the art minigame so much. This is a really fun one. Yeah, I said earlier English might have been my my favorite class, but actually, I don't know, art's pretty fun too. Basically, you have to fill in all of the spaces, and there's a whole bunch of erasers that are going through, and if the erasers run into your line as you're sliding across the board, if they touch the line, boom, that costs you a life. You have three lives when you're filling in the picture. Uh, they also have a pair of scissors that are going all around the outlines, and if the scissors touch you, uh, that's it. You're dead. You have to, you know, go to another life. Yep. But, uh, we're gonna be doing that minigame quite a bit, so I'll get into more detail when we play more of them. But, uh, that game is pretty fun when it gets a little more hectic in the future classes. And, uh, it's good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> You're so bad! For doing art, we get a 25% health oh, bonus good. when we kiss girls now. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, this game is basically Baby's Grand Theft Auto, so instead of having prostitutes that we take to a car and have sex with in order to get extra health, <laughs> we kiss girls at school, and that's how we get extra health. That's how you're so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so it's always a valid strategy when you've mastered art to find one of the very, very charming and beautiful women that are part of Bullworth Academy. And there are a lot of them. Oh yeah. And then you do engage in tonsil hockey and you got like double health. <laughs> but um, this mini game is gym class. Indubitably. And here we have wrestling, so... Gonna die of embarrassment. Right, get and this is where we get a whole bunch of new combat moves. So, they tell us what to do, we have to make sure we do it. If we screw it up too many times, then we fail the class. 
but uh, it's not that hard to figure out. It's just like a mini quick time thing. Just press the buttons that show up on screen. If it tells you to hold it, just hold the button and you're good to go. This is the most violent wrestling match I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, excluding the WWE, but... <laughs> Well, this is real stuff. Yeah. <laughs> WWE is all, like, fake and stuff. I'm saying this is a fan, by the way. <laughs> Do you remember when Kurt Angle entered the 1996 Olympics and then he just kneed someone in the face? Punched him in the gut a few times, you know. This is what real wrestling is like. You punch him a whole bunch and then you hit him with a chair. None of the da-da-da-da shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, folks, I'll see you in part four.